Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is Zach with IT Career Questions. And today I got some big news about Cisco's new CCNA exam that is coming out next February, 2020. And if you guys need help training for the new CCNA or you're still going for the old CCNA, make sure you can check out our good friends over at itpro.tv. Link is in the description below. Use the coupon code ITCQ30, you get 30% off of that membership over there. They have training materials covering just about every single IT certification in the world and they do have amazing material on cisco certifications check out that link in the description below let's move forward so as we're getting into this i think it's really important to note that what we're talking about here is some new news that i have heard and it does change things quite significantly now you already know i created a video a couple months back if you haven't we'll put up a link here somewhere and we talked about the big changes that the CCNA has already endured. However, this news is a little bit different. This image that we have up on the screen was taken from Cisco's Network Academy, and it lays out some really important things right here. As you guys can see, the CCNA version six had 280 hours worth of material there. So that's 280 hours that were essentially required in their study materials, their guides, uh, et cetera, right? That's for the old CCNA. For the new CCNA, however, you're looking at 200 hours. So there's 80 hours taken right off the top. Now, where did those 80 hours go? What things were changed? How is this significant to you? How does this change affect what you're going to be learning with the new CCNA? This leads us to really one major question, and it's going to be a question that many people are going to be asking, they continue to ask this currently, but with this change, I think there will be more questions. And that is this. Is the new CCNA easier? Now we could assume with those 80 hours missing that the new material will be easier. Maybe they just took off a lot of things, which they did. Maybe they crammed a lot in there. Maybe they really added more sophisticated material there and it could be more difficult. Now that's a big change and schools are definitely kind of scrambling at this one because they used these hours previously to really develop their lesson plans and really focus heavily on that. Now that things have changed, well, they don't need to study as much, right? They don't need to really lay out lesson plans like they did before. And this is something to really keep note of and to really pay attention to because if you are reducing hours that are required in training and in these materials and things like that, you always kind of assume that it's going to be easier. Well, they did make significant changes. You guys can find many of the objectives out there and many of them are very similar. However, they did make some significant changes as far as what you will find on that. These are LAN security concepts, switch security configuration, WLAN concepts, WLAN configuration, network security concepts, VPN and IPsec concepts, and network automation. Now, some of these you could have found in one way or another on the old exam. Some of them are just being reintroduced in a more vibrant type of way, right? Network automation is something that has really come together in the last couple of years since the previous CCNA has been out. It's something that's just developed even further in the years that our previous CCNA uh, has been around. So network automation is something that you should definitely take a heavier look into. And with these different changes that we have listed here on our screen, we know that these are things that we're gonna want to study further. We're gonna wanna look more into. Now we know with the CCNA changes that have already happened, there is only one CCNA. So you're not gonna have your CCNA security anymore. It's just one CCNA. If you wanna get those advanced Cisco certifications, you're gonna to have to look at the CCMP, where they'll have CCMP security and so on. Now, what I wanna focus on is the question, is it easier? And that should not matter. At the end of the day, whether you are going through 280 hours of material or 200 hours of material, you have to understand the concepts, the objectives that have been laid out in front of you. You would think that with less hours, it's less work, it's not as much of a workload, but the material that is on these exams 
is still stuff that you have to know and understand. So one thing that we really need to understand is whether you're coming at the new CCNA with no prior Cisco networking knowledge or you're coming at it with network knowledge. The material that is on these exams are still things that you're gonna have to study for one way or another. Now, whether that material in theory or in practice is harder, well, it almost doesn't matter because you're going to be learning it. You're going through this process to learn and understand material to take an exam. Now, if you've been studying for the old CCNA and you just don't have the time or the money to take this exam before the new one comes out, you will need to look at the objectives and see how that new material will affect you and your studies. I can tell you that the changes from the old one to the new one will require you to actually dive into that new material and understand it. But to ask that question, is it going to be easier? It just doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if it's easier or harder because still at the end of the day, you're studying for it. Now, the other big question that many people have asked is this, is the new CCNA going to be as relevant? And that answer is yes, absolutely. The new CCNA will function much like the old CCNA. It's a certification that proves you have the knowledge, the understanding of Cisco networking. So with that being said, the two things that I want you to take from this video are this, whether the new material is longer, shorter, it's not going to make a difference to you because you still have to learn and study this material and understand the objectives that you will find on the exam. Those objectives that you are learning and studying for the CCNA are essential to passing the exam. Once you pass that exam and you have your CCNA, that certification is extremely relevant in this field. So go forth, study for the CCNA, go past your CCNA. It is accomplishable, it is doable, and anybody out there can do it. And when you're asking yourself, well, is this easier than the old stuff? Well, this is an evolution of how certifications go. Every single certification that is in existence today refreshes every couple of years, every few years or so, because they need to include newer material. It is essential that these certifications are updated. New technologies come out, new things happen on a day-to-day -day basis in the IT world that drastically change the whole landscape of IT in some way or another. Now, with the new material on the CCNA, it's relevant material that is affected by what is actually happening in a real world job environment where you're utilizing Cisco networking. So knowing, understanding, and learning this new material on the CCNA is going to be essential to helping you further your career and really being relevant with Cisco networking. So go out, take your CCNA, and good luck to you. If you guys are still going and studying your old CCNA, you have until February 20th of 2020 to take the old exam. And if you wait any longer than that, you're gonna be taking the new exam, which will be just fine for you. If you've already been studying, just keep going forward, keep learning. Don't stop learning because you might think this could be easier. In all reality, if you are studying the old CCNA, you're going to have to go and learn the new material because there are some significant changes.